There are twice as many things connected to the internet as there are humans on the planet, so probably 13 billion devices. And it's just going to keep growing. There are things that will be created that we can't even imagine yet today. So what we have to do is start getting involved in how do we enable these things to be used in a safe, secure way maintaining privacy of the individual and the information. So there are many, many opportunities for IoT or the Internet of Things on, on smarter campuses, as I like to call them. It could be in the operations of the campus. It could be leveraging the sensor information in buildings to reduce energy use, to reduce water use. You can even use gamification and have the students involved on who has, you know, who's performing the best, which building, which floor, or whatever it is. There's also the opportunity to use it for public safety, you know, gathering information from sensors, whether it's carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide detection, it could be other type of chemical detection. It could also be crowdsourcing, you know, getting information about where people are, where things might be happening. But in all of it, end-to-end -end trust and security is really critical. And we're actually at Internet2 working with the university members, industry members, national labs, IEEE, to actually host a workshop we're planning on next year on end-to-end -end trust and security for the Internet of Things. So we're really looking forward to working with the whole community on starting down this path together.